of my voice through the cold hard ground I lost a while searching for you I scream into the dark If the world we're living in Has a single soul that you love If it holds a shred of meaning Well then it's worth the reply And when all that we know comes to push and shove Then we will pierce the heavens The colors you see are new to you and me When we see the sky Wait, how did you two get here so fast? Yeah, we saw you at the entrance, and it didn't look like you were following us. Oh, that's because we used this. What's this? A Pokemon teleporter. It's one of the many devices this guild uses. When can we have one? Maybe when you're ready. We don't give the teleporter all willy-nilly. You have to prove yourself first. Oh, come on, another test? By the way, did you guys already think of a team name? Oh crap, we forgot! That's alright, Pikachu! I thought of one already! Then why didn't you tell me sooner? <laughs> I wanted it to be a surprise! Don't keep us waiting! Come on, tell us! Attention, Poke Ladies and Poke Men! Please welcome the Guild for Freedom's newest Pokémon team! Water and Lightning! That's, That's lame, lame and, and unoriginal! unoriginal. How about Aquashock? That's better. Yeah, very original. Mining was better. Well, Dragonite is waiting for us. Come on, let's go. Who's that guy? That's Mawile, my right-hand man. Right-hand man? It's a long story. Plus, I'm a female. Oh, uh, sorry. You kind of look like a man, though. What? No, I don't. Anyway, Mawile here will give you two a tour of the place. After the tour, you will go to the briefing room, where Mawile will give you your first mission. Come on, boys. What was that about? I don't know. Just don't mind it. It's probably about them anyway. And finally, this is where you'll be sleeping. Sweet! We got our own room, Pikachu! Well, it's a good place and it's decorated nicely, though I don't know about the stale beds. What was this room before we joined? It used to be a storage room for most of our equipment, but we cleared out this room last night while you guys were staying at Rivercliff's Medical Center. Where did you put the equipment? Oh, well we just threw it out. It was just garbage anyways. Don't you think that since you threw it out, any Pokemon could just find it? It's highly unlikely, since the Pokemon here aren't scavengers like those villages in the southeast. Ooh, shiny! I wonder what it does! Either way, I like it! I'm glad you do. Now that you guys know the ins and outs of the guild and its members, it's time for you to begin your first mission. Depending on how well you guys do, it will also impact your private training session with Dragonite. Alright boys, you're in luck. We just received a distress call from a nearby Pokemon in the forest up north. This shouldn't take very long, so it's perfect for beginners like yourselves. Any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Do we get paid? It depends on the one asking for help, but members do get paid most of the time. We won't let you down, Mawile! Good luck. You'll need it. Okay, it says here that we need to find a female Pokemon who's a fire type. Well, that could be anyone. Not really. Maybe that's her over there. Tell us where the last human is, or I'll rip you in half and drink your blood! Wait, no, please! I don't know what you're talking about. Please don't hurt me. And tell us where he is, or else! I haven't seen a human in years! LIAR! 
We know a human is out there, and we know he passed by here. Now tell me! Stop! What the? Who are you, kids? We are the members for Guild for Freedom, and you guys picking on Flareon is uncalled for and unnecessary! This doesn't concern you, right? Ah! Oh! Uh. Uh, you didn't just hit my friend! Uh! 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 That's for threatening me! Hey! Thanks! Give up now, and leave this Flareon alone! Heh, <laughs> I'm not giving up to kids like you. This won't be the last time you see us. Hey, stop! <laughs> no, they escaped. Are you okay, Pikachu? Yeah, I'm alright. I just couldn't get them in time. Are you okay, Flareon? Yes. Thanks for saving me, you two. No problem. Hey, what's that? Mm. I can't understand this. Can I read? Sure. It's just written in some kind of ancient text or something, but I'm not sure what any of this stuff says. Hmm. That's odd. I don't know what this stuff says either. Maybe Dragonite knows what this means. Let's go back. Wait! We didn't even complete the mission! This was the mission, right? Hey, Flareon, did you ask the Guild for Freedom for help? I didn't ask that guild for help. Then who asked for help? I believe I did, youngsters. You young whippersnappers didn't even look for me! But the form said it was a female fire type. I am a male and a water type. I only lie because nobody helps an old man these days. Then why didn't you call us? I tried calling you! Oh, sorry then, mister. That's alright. Usually Pokemon ignore me whenever I need help most of the time anyways. Wait, what was the help you needed? I needed you boys to get that book back from those punks. They stole it from me quite some time ago and I tried finding them everywhere but they were nowhere to be found until two minutes ago. Is that the book? Oh, yes, it sure is. This book contains information on what will happen to this world in the future, and about humans that are still alive right now, among other things. Wait, info about humans? That's correct. Does it concern you or something? Yes, actually, but... I think it would be best to take Flareon home first. That would be nice. I'm really far from where my house is. Tell me. Do you boys live in River Cliff Village? We live two minutes away from it. Perfect! I live in that village. Come meet me tomorrow in the old abandoned house next to another house when you have the time and I'll tell you what the book says. You can read this gibberish? Of course, however, it, it contains deep information that shouldn't be seen by other Pokemons. Except for you two. But thanks for getting that book back for me. I'll be on my way now. That man looked at me with a strange look. Might as well see him tomorrow. Which way is your house? It's this way. Ha, huh. you two idiots are back. Have you found the location of the human? No, sir. We couldn't find any information on where he is. That's unfortunate. Do you still have the book? We don't have it anymore. But Caracasa managed to get it back. Damn. I gave you two one job to make sure no one, not even Caracosta, gets their hands on that book. And you think he got it back? But two kids got in our way while we were trying to find the other human. And made me drop the book while I was finding one of them. And who are these kids you speak of? 
They were both a Squirtle and a Pikachu, and they said they're from a guild called Guild for Freedom. Did you say they're from Guild for Freedom? I've heard of that guild before. They're all just a bunch of losers who don't know what they're doing most of the time. If they helped Caracos to get that book back from us, do you think you could go after it since these two were stupid enough to let that book out of their hands? I'll see what I can do. After all, I know that guild is close to Rivercliff Village, so I can eavesdrop on them without getting caught. Excellent. Don't fail me, Hoopa. <laughs> you two, go get patched up right now. Seeing both of you looking like a mess disgusts me. Hmm. I have a strong feeling that one of those kids Bennett and Gengar fought isn't an actual Pokemon, but rather the human we're looking for, and Hoopa is about to pay him an unexpected visit very soon.